discuss the communication using optical fibers how does it take place so let me draw a block diagram destination okay this is so how the things are working here first of all uh, let me explain it to you with the help of an example an easy example suppose uh, when someone speaks then it uh, creates sound signals this uh, sound signal is converted into electrical signal and then electrical signal into the light signal using lasers or LEDs then at the receiving end again the signals are uh, this is again converted into the sound signal using transducers so how the things are uh, performing their job is here maybe some non electrical signal like maybe speech then it will be converted into the electrical signals so here the processing stage of electrical signals take place after conversion from uh, non electrical to electrical signals then with the help of optical source as the optical source emits light and uh, takes the electrical signal as input it converts these uh, electrical signals into optical signals or the light signals and through this optical fiber this light signal is carried to the receiving end so in this optical fiber no electricity travels only the light rays propagates as I have uh, already told you the phenomena total internal reflection okay so it reaches at the receiving end and at there a uh, photo detector is used to convert this uh, light signals again into electrical signals as uh, uh, it is uh, sensitive to the photons of light and uh, it emits uh, electrons which uh, creates electricity which is responsible uh, for electricity so here uh, the electrical signals uh, photons are again converted into electrical signals at this stage this processing of these electrical signals takes place and again at the destination uh, it is again back converted into the non electrical signals so it acts as a an uh, energy converter or transducer where the electrical signals uh, are again converted into non electrical signals in our example here the conversion of uh, uh, electric electrical signals to sound takes place so i think it was clear optical fiber communication okay so now let's see some uh, benefits of uh, optical fibers the very important benefit is the very large bandwidth it may be up to 2 into 10 raised to the power 13 hertz it's very big very large bandwidth another benefit of uh, the optical fiber is negligible negligible transmission loss up to 0.2 decibel per kilometer which is really negligible third one is small size very flexible also it is immune to electromagnetic interference and the last one is no electrical shock hazards no electric shock there is no risk or hazard of electric shock as uh, only the light signal travels through this optical fiber not electricity friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy 
and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can visit my blog www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com its link is given in the description of this video you can check it and uh, see you soon in the next video till then bye bye